Greetings from Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. I want to share with you today from the first chapter of the book of Acts. The disciples of Jesus were intrigued about the end time activities. And so in Acts chapter 1, they come to Jesus to see if he was willing to give up any details about when the end would come. They wanted to try to pry, I think, some, uh, some information out of Jesus. Sometimes I think we are a lot like that as well. Some unique phenomenon will take place in the sky with the stars or the planets, and a theologian will churn out a book about end times. People are so curious about end times things that they will go very quickly and purchase those books, and those books sell very well. We read the books of Daniel in the Old Testament and the book of Revelation in the New Testament, and we get all of our charts laid out before us, and we read between the lines of Scripture sometimes, if we're not careful, and begin to estimate the end of the world. Jesus' response to his disciples' queries about the end-time calendar is the same response that he would give for us today. Listen to what he says there. Therefore, when they, the disciples, had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Jesus said to his disciples, those who followed him in that first century, there are some things that really aren't your responsibility, but then there are some things that are your responsibility. And so turn your attention to those things that God would have you to do. I know that uh, I've heard recently in connection to the difficulties that we're going through now with COVID-19 uh, that some are predicting that the end is near. Be careful not to get bogged down in times and seasons, but instead be ready. Be ready. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be 10 years from now. It could be 100 years from now. I think there have been people in every generation that thought, I will be alive to see the Lord come again and the end of time activity take place. Be active and obedient, doing the things that the Lord would have us do in the meantime. The Bible says that no one knows the day or the hour. And so let's just be busy about doing the things that God has called us to do. What are some of those things? Well, one thing Jesus shares with his disciples right there in Acts chapter 1. Be witnesses to me. Start in your own home. Start right there in your own community, your own neighborhood, and spread out until you have done whatever it takes to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ to the entire world. But the Bible doesn't stop there. There are so many things. And one of the other things that the Bible tells us to do, we can certainly do right now, even in the midst of being quarantined. Listen to what it says in James chapter 1. Pure and undefiled religion before God, the Father, is this, to visit orphans and widows in their trouble and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. I think Jesus would answer our queries today about, is this the end time, with saying, it's not for you to know the times and the seasons. That's what the Father takes care of, God in heaven. He'll call that shot one of these days, and when he does, the Lord will come again, and all of the end time things will take care of themselves exactly like God desires. We're just to be ready. And in the meantime, until that day comes, we're to share the good news of Jesus Christ with others. We're to minister to those who are orphans, those who are widows. We're to take care of one another, to love one another, to make a phone call, to drop a note in the mail, to maybe make a meal and to take over, to go to the grocery store for someone who's not able right now to go for themselves, and then to keep oneself unspotted from the things of the world to look like Jesus, to act like Jesus, to love like Jesus, to talk like Jesus, to forgive like Jesus, to be a disciple, to be a follower of Jesus. Would you follow Jesus today in your life? Lord, we thank you 
for the calling of purpose that you've placed upon every life. You've created us, and Lord, you've created us with a very specific purpose, each and every one of us. Father, today, I pray that we would not worry about or conjecture about the things that are not our responsibility. You will take care of all of those things just fine without our help, without our hypotheses. But Lord, may we be busy about doing the things that you have called us to do. May we be witnesses of the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout our world. May we help those who are less fortunate. May we help those who cannot help themselves. And Lord, may we be unspotted from the things of this world. May we look more like Jesus today as we give ourselves away in service to others. And we'll thank you ever for it. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you. Would you find a place to follow Jesus today?